Frances Lannan, Principal of Lady Margaret Hall, and I am quite delighted to extend a warm welcome to everyone as we gather to celebrate the establishment of a junior research fellowship in refugee studies and forced migration jointly at LMH and the Refugee Studies Centre of Oxford University. The research fellowship is named in honour of the late Joyce Pierce, who studied history as an undergraduate at LMH from 1934 to 1937. She became a teacher, training just around the corner at the Department of Education, and she was then inspired a little later to found in the mid-1950s the Ockenden Venture to work with and help displaced people, first refugees in Europe and then in India, Africa, Southeast Asia and beyond. Joyce Pierce was one of those extraordinary individuals whose compassion and energy and determination change lives, in her case, thousands of lives, and the lives of people who had found themselves particularly vulnerable. When, years later, in 1982, the Refugee Study Centre was established in Oxford, a hugely important and innovative centre, it was led by another alumna of this college, Dr. Barbara Harrell Bond. Joyce Pierce, quite elderly then, within the last few years of her life, immediately recognized its pioneering importance in researching and teaching the causes and effects of forced migration. We owe an enormous debt of gratitude to the trustees of what is now Ockenden International for having the vision to see the possibility of this fellowship and the wonderfully generous commitment to make it a reality. We've just appointed the Joyce Pierce Fellow, Kirsten McConaughey, who's in the front row here with us this evening. Kirsten, welcome. Kirsten will be conducting a comparative study of the governance of refugee camps in Uganda, Nepal, Thailand, Israel, and Palestine. So tonight, we are exceptionally fortunate to have the Chancellor of the University, Chris Patton, who's also the visitor of this college, as our speaker. Ten years ago, <coughs> um, I uh, attended the 50th um, uh, birthday party of Ockenden. Um, as uh, the principal said, um, a wonderful uh, charity which um, was first established to support um, uh, refugees after the Second World War. When I was Britain's Overseas Development Minister, I remember we had a project in the tribal areas of Pakistan um, which was attempting to promote primary health care and reduce uh, fertility rates. Uh, and the figures for this project were abysmal. Without the help of consultants, being able to identify one very powerful reason why it may be that we weren't achieving our objectives um, in uh, a reduction in fertility uh, rates, which was that only 1.8% of women were literate. Um, so I think the work that Ockenden were doing in the tribal areas, uh, helping to educate uh, 30,000 children, 40% uh, of them uh, young girls, um, was exceptionally important. So uh, we celebrate today uh, the uh, vision and the gallantry of Joyce Pierce. We celebrate um, the uh, contribution uh, made by uh, Ockenden to uh, the valuable international scholarship at this university. Uh, 
we wish Dr. McConaughey a well in the work that she will do. Uh, and we hope um, that that work and the work of others in the Refugee Studies Centre will have some effect uh, on the uh, politicians and political leaders in the international community. On Ockenden International's behalf, I can announce this evening a new annual award, a prize of £50,000 to recognise and reward innovative work with displaced people around the world. Starting now, submissions will be invited from UK registered charities, though they can, if they choose, nominate partners or affiliates abroad. The put forward work that most cleverly and effectively helps people towards self-reliance. The winner and the shortlisted contenders will be honoured this time next year. It's all in line, of course, with Ockenden's redefined role to reinforce and encourage the work of others rather than running their own projects on the ground. It's a prize worth having. It should also highlight the problems of the displaced and the dispossessed, as well as focus attention on what aid should really be for and what its ultimate purpose should be. Joyce would be pleased. <laughs>